guys and welcome back to my channel it is wednesday in seattle i haven't had a chance to start my vlog this week just because i have been so so busy um i've literally canceled every plan i've had this week with some of my girlfriends because i leave for la on friday but i drive down to portland tomorrow to meet my friend lynette and we're going to be flying out of portland together to go on a fun la birthday trip for her so i'm really looking forward to it but i have been just so busy trying to wrap up some projects and just so i don't have to think about it while i'm in la even though it'll be mostly like the weekend but honestly guys sometimes during the weekends i am still doing some work like when i have downtime i'll literally open my laptop it's just such a bad habit i probably should just literally put my laptop in like a safe and not open it until monday but sometimes when i have nothing to do i'm not a huge tv watcher anyways i'll i like to like i feel like it's fun to shoot content or um edit videos like i find that really relaxing and just fun so sometimes i will do that on the weekends i love to do that so anyways um yeah, I am dressed, as you can tell, for a reform class I have this morning. Um, so I did end up buying some things, guys, to work out in. And I'm really happy I did because I think I mentioned to you guys, I literally hadn't bought in any new workout clothes since like high school, maybe a couple things in college. But even then, I was just using things from high school that were really good. I mean, really good quality, but I've kind of outgrown them um, in style and in size, to be honest. And so I am like looking for comfier things. So I actually went to Lululemon. I am not a huge fan of Lululemon. Like I have never purchased anything on my own from Lululemon. I had one pair of leggings gifted to me like, a, like three or four Christmases ago. And that's literally the only thing from Lululemon I owned. Um, I just, Lululemon is not my fave. For some reason, I have just never been able to love the brand and that is okay. But I was like, you know what? I really need workout clothes. We have a Lululemon here and nearby. So I went with Jordan and I found this really cute top. And guys, it is one of the like most comfy, seamless tops I have ever owned. I literally don't have to wear a bra with it. It is just so comfy. Also, the workout is not high impact like on my body. I'm not like running or jumping and stuff like that. It's just holding my body up and stuff like that. If you guys have ever been to a reform class, really, really, really good workout, but it's also not like super high intensity. So this is like the perfect top for that. And then this um, sweater or hoodie is from Girlfriend Collective, but I already have that for a while. It comes in like a sweat set. And then I got some really cute shorts also from Lululemon. They are like this, they're super comfy, like super flowy, which I really, really love. Um, so yeah, and I also got a pair of shorts from On. Um, we got them at the backcountry store at U Village, and they are so cute. They fit so well. They have like built-in underwear, which isn't my fave, but also isn't the worst. Um, I remember using that like my whole childhood <laughs> through sports, like the tempo shorts, the Nike tempo shorts. Um, so yeah, I still need to purge all my workout clothes because I still have the Nike Tempo shorts from like middle school and I really just need to get rid of them because I'm not going to wear them. They also are so tight on my butt. It just, it, they don't work anymore. So going to get rid of all that stuff. But anyways, I also have to pack for LA today because I leave for Portland tomorrow after my tattoo appointment. I am just getting my pear tattoo retouched because it was so fine line and my skin is a tad dark that it didn't fully stay so you can see the pair but there's little blotches where it's like missing ink and it just annoys me so um i booked a retouch appointment like two months ago so we're finally here and so i'll be headed to tacoma tomorrow to get it retouched and then right after that i'm headed to portland so i'm just so excited but i'm also feeling a little stressed today i'm meeting my friend danny i decided not to cancel on her um so I'm meeting up with her in Madrona and we're going to go get Thai food and just hang out and shoot some content. So that is always great. I love that. It'll also be a fun little break for me, even though my workout class is going to be a break for me. But I've literally just been working the whole morning. Um, I haven't started packing at all. So I am stressing about that. But I probably will pack maybe um, for like the next 30 minutes before I leave or start bringing things out. And then after I get back 
from hanging out with Danny. Cause I literally go to my workout class. I have to come back and shower and then immediately leave to go get lunch in my journal with her. So I'll probably be packing like this evening while Jordan's home, we will see, but it's gonna be a crazy day. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for joining this vlog. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video or any of my past videos. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate you guys watching my vlogs and just the sweet comments I get on every single one of my videos. I love this platform and I'm so happy that I started this channel because it's just been so fun to just share my life in a more like intimate way with you guys. But anyways, I'm going to get to packing and then working out. So I'll chat with you guys later. didn't get to chat with you guys earlier before leaving to meet up with my friend Danny but it is now like 5 p.m. I've picked up Jordan and I'm currently trying on outfits for LA <laughs> you guys need to see the state of my room because it is it's just it's a no okay I I have no words I'm trying to come up with outfits for this trip so I'm not overpacking but let me show you guys the state of my room right now because it's, it's driving me a little crazy Okay, so I'm trying on outfits. It's gonna be kind of cold, but this is what my room looks like because trying on outfits is, uh, oof. It really takes it out of me, but luckily I'm only going for a weekend and I don't need to pack a lot of things. I'm also realizing the more I've been able to build like a staple closet and just have pieces that I really love, it's easy for me to mix and match. So if I like wear this blazer with these shorts, which I won't because it doesn't go, um, I could also wear them with some other cute pants that I have. So that's also what I'm planning. So I'm not overpacking. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but it was supposed to be like 80 degrees. And today, this morning when I checked, it's gonna be like 60, 50 degrees raining on Saturday in LA. So, so much for beautiful, beautiful weather. I'm gonna be struggling like I am in Seattle, so. Womp, 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 but it is what it is. We'll be in a different city, so that'll be great. But yeah, just figuring out my outfits and packing currently.
Hello guys, we made it to LA. My friend Lynette is here, which is over there in the corner of the room trying to connect our speaker so we can vibe out here in LA in the Hoxton. Hello. Um, yeah, say hi. Toodaloo, hi. <laughs> You're gonna have to come over here so we can tell them about our Starbucks story in a little. But um, anyways, I am so excited to be here and just have fun with Lentil. Lynette, sorry. It's my nickname. <laughs> I know, called her Lentil <laughs> forever. But you know, I've been more mindful recently. Right. Like whenever I tell people about you, I'm like Lynette. Like I literally like- You say my actual name? Yeah, I'm like Lynette. Cause like Lentil is very like, I love it. It's very mean. But it's very like niche. Yeah. Like they need to like really know you to like really understand lentil. Yeah. So Lynette to you guys, okay? Lentil to me. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we got to the airport super early at like 7 a.m. And then we were like, mm -hmm. let's go get Starbucks. So we thought it was a great idea until it wasn't. It was not a good idea. We waited an hour and a half to get our coffee, which was just insane. Um, and they missed lentils, Lynette's. <laughs> I'm just gonna call her lentil, okay? They missed lentils. Um, like food order and they were literally pissing me off because mm -hmm. like there was people that ordered after us like an hour after us that got their food before us and i went up to the lady and she was so sassy to me mm -hmm. i know that she was probably having an awful morning with like all the customers and stuff but she was so sassy to me so i ended up snagging somebody else's food that was exactly like lentils because we were there for an hour and a half. Like we literally only got to sit down at our terminal for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we were at the airport like two and a half hours early. So it was just crazy. But we're here, we made it a long time. <laughs> um, but we're really excited because we have nail appointments at four. So I think we're gonna head down to the restaurant and get fries because we are starving. I've literally had nothing to eat. We have some crusty dusty nails for sure. Yeah, oh my God, crusty dusty. These are all breaking and also I'm looking to see if they can give me a quick pedicure Ooh, or just like remove my polish because it's really nasty. The dogs are nasty currently. The dogs are barking. <laughs> They're barking. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, we don't have a lot of plans, but no, we're, just gonna we're gonna try it. to find, yeah, we're just gonna wing at this trip yeah. and we're gonna try to find like a cute restaurant tonight and maybe go to a cute neighborhood or something. Hopefully. And do some house sightseeing. Cause and check out. Yeah. Whatever's cute. Whatever's, whatever's cute. Whatever we like, whatever we exactly. might buy later. Yes, exactly. Oh, I also wanted to mention to you guys, I'm here with the Hoxton, but um, I'm working with them through this new program called Whoa. Anyways. Oh my gosh, I don't know what happened, but now my throat is like itchy. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys about Disloyalty because I recently signed up as a member through the Hoxton and it's really cool because you get really cool discounts through a bunch of different hotels in the world essentially. So new hotels you get 50% off when you sign up for Disloyalty. It's only $18 a month which is the crazy part. And then you also get free coffee every day of the year at like Hoxton locations. So while I'm here I'll be able to get free coffee or just anything from the cafe that's like a drink for free with the Disloyalty program which is just really, really cool. Um, so I would definitely sign up if I were you guys. And then you get 10 to 20% off, I believe, reoccurring stays at different locations. So really, really cool program. I'm excited to be signed up for it for a year. So anyways, just have to throw that in there for you guys um, because that is part of my partnership with the Hoxton this time around. So anyways, I'll catch you guys later. We're gonna go get fries and then we're gonna go get our nails done and just do LA things. because we're going to dinner right after. Let's go here. <laughs> These are our outfits. <laughs> okay, let's go before we're late.
whole bag. Oh. Because it's in the bag. You didn't get fries? I got almost fries. Oh. Look at you. Those I feel so like... violated, guys. <laughs> we were just at in and out and they had security and Lens and I were like, why do they have security? That's so weird. I went to go grab my burger and this homeless man used me as like a wall so he could reach over and grab a burger that was sitting there. And I guess that's why they have security because that security guy went, mm, no, not today and took the burger right out of his hand. But I felt very violated because that homeless man was on my body. Like his whole body, he used me as a shield. <laughs> I was like, bro. And so I was like, do you want ketchup? Oh, ketchup. What is happening? <laughs> Do you want ketchup? So I understand why there's security in there. That was wild. But we also got our nails done. Lentil got a really pretty red. Guess that <laughs> no, I was literally going to talk about that. So I was like, oh my God, Lentil, this place is so cute. Like, it's so cheap. <laughs> so we go and then Lentil checked out and I was like, oh, everything seems like it went fine. Then I go to check out and she goes, it's $130. This is gel. That's it. Gel and chrome. I've paid like... At home, like fifty dollars, sixty dollars. Yeah, we, we paid a, a lot less. <sighs> I I was shooketh. I was like, oh yeah, we're in Beverly Hills. Like this is there was like toy poodle Yorkies, whatever. Not poodle Walking. Yorkies, like toy <laughs> toy <laughs> toy Yorkies walking around. So I'm like, okay, this is this is the vibe, I guess. But I did not realize a simple gel manicure was going to be 130. How much did you pay for yours? I I paid 120 dollars. That's insane. That's I, actually uh, not me fact, telling Lentil like yeah, and it's uh, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to turn the car on. Yeah. yeah, I literally told her like it was cheap. So that's why we went to In and Out. We were gonna go to um, John and Vin's, but yeah. after spending that much money, we were like, <laughs> let's we gotta, go. I don't even like In and Out. Okay, and I was like, yeah, let's let's drive to In and Out immediately. <laughs> I will not be spending money. <laughs> yeah, and then get har harassed and. Anyways, cheers! Anyways, cheers to In and Out and to homeless man reaching over my shoulder into one hundred thirty dollar manicures. Okay, let's try this. Mmm, 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 good. I've literally had the biggest fight with Jordan about In and Out. I every time he says he loves In and Out, I'm like, it's literal trash. No. This has redeemed himself. So, babe, He's if like, you're watching this, I'll go to In and Out with you now. Mm -hmm. Lentil got the order for me. Mm -hmm. This is really good. The grilled onion. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm starving. My first <laughs> meal of the day. <laughs> It is like 9 a.m. right now, but I've been up since 6.30. I got up and I packed a little work bag and I headed downstairs to the lobby of the Hoxton and I used my disloyalty um, membership to get my free coffee today, so it was perfect. I love that the Hoxtons have cafes at the bottom. I feel like it just makes it so convenient, especially when you're traveling with someone if they want to sleep in like you just have a bag ready and head downstairs and get some work done so i answered some emails just because thursday i was traveling to portland and i just didn't do any work and so i had tons of emails sitting in my inbox and a couple things i needed to send to some brands so that they wouldn't be late so i did that this morning i also posted a cute la post on my instagram account so go check that out if you guys want to see all my fun la content on ig IG, TikTok, and YouTube are just three different worlds for me. I feel like I chat more to you guys on YouTube, obviously, because I'm just, like always speaking to a camera. I never speak into the camera really on like Instagram, but it's more like curated and I really love it. I feel like I can be more like artistic with that stuff and just like shoot really fun photos for you guys. And then TikTok is just like whatever. Um, I just do whatever <laughs> comes to mind. It's never anything like super curated. But yeah, so go ahead and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Anyways, it was very nice and 
I feel very accomplished already this morning and I'm glad I did it so I wouldn't be stressing about it this weekend even though it is Saturday I shouldn't be doing work but whatever it is what it is but anyways we are gonna get ready right now and we are going to head to Koreatown to go visit this coffee shop that Lentil wouldn't want to visit and then I think I'm gonna go to Community Goods after I saw Haley Polk I think that's how you pronounce her last name but um the sweetest girl i really love her content um she started a new youtube channel and i've been loving that i've love her like ig account and stuff she recently moved to la and she posted about community goods and i was like i have to go there so we are gonna check that out also and then we potentially will be heading to the beach or we will just hang out around koreatown a little longer today but we don't have a ton like of plans i think we're meeting my friend kate today at some point she's driving down from loma linda redmond's area so that'll be really fun but anyways it's saturday here in la and so we're just gonna vibe it out i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys but we literally have no plans we're just kind of vibing it out we've been jotting things down as we see them on social media and just kind of like visiting so this feels very lax very fun it's typically not me when i travel but i'm here for it i feel like every once in a while it's very fun to have this kind of trip where literally nothing is planned you just go by what you're feeling it's just it's very relaxing so anyways i'm gonna go hop in the shower and get ready for la day two tell me what you're wearing what am i wearing Joggers from Target. My shirts from H&M, yes. and my white button-up is H&M. Okay, we yes. love. And then my bag, my little bag, it's Marc Jacobs. Cute. And then my jewelry is borrowed. We love. It looks amazing <laughs> on you. Alrighty guys, we decided to do lunch in service here at the room and then we toured the rooftop hotel. It is so cute. And now we're headed to Maru Coffee and then the Griffith Museum. No, Griffith Observatory um, to look at the views and then my friend Kay's gonna meet us there. But wait, I wanna show them Lentil's look cause she looks really cute. She changed, so fire. Slay. Oh, not the loser sign. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> It's like a Oster. pasta place. Oster. We just finished hanging out with my friend Kay and her boyfriend Jade, and now we're gonna grab dinner. Curls are out. Yes, Rain the hair's frizzy. Rain is out there. This but we're thriving. They were straight, but they look they're really straight. cute. They look good on you. I love it. Anyways, we're headed to Ost, but also check it out. 
sorry, pointing at the wrong one, but Vanderpump is dogs. Lisa Vanderpump literally runs LA, I feel like. Wild. Yeah. Anyways, let's go eat some pasta. It is Sunday in LA and I am ready to go to wake and late and we're gonna meet my friend Sammy G as we used to call her in college her name's Samantha though but we're gonna meet Samantha at wake and late to get breakfast burritos before Lentil and I had to Laguna Beach we're gonna kind of have a jam-packed day today um like let me run you guys through what we kind of talked about maybe some of these things won't end up happening just because it's like our last day in la and some things might pop up that we want to do but we're gonna go to wake and late then we're driving to laguna beach for just like the views and just hang out there we might have lunch there really quick we have tickets to the melrose market so we'll be coming back and going to that and then and what are we doing oh we found a Tangulu spot in Koreatown that we really want to go to and Lentil really wants to go to a Korean skincare brand that she knows that is down there. So we're going to do that and I'm going to swing by and get a little treat because I've literally been craving it since we talked about it last night. Um, so I'm so excited to try that. Um, and then what are we doing? We might be meeting some of my girlfriends. I think I told you guys, but I have a lot of friends that live in the LA area and to go to school in like La Melinda Redlands area so I just feel so weird being in a city when I know my friends are here um and I didn't really reach out to them until like a little before I left and um like my friend Kay she texted me yesterday and that's why we met up and I was so happy to see her like my college friends are some of my favorite people in this world so whenever I get the chance to see them I want to like take advantage of it um but this is Lynette's like birthday trip so trying to like minimize that but also i'm like i'm here i want to see my friends but even if it's for like a quick hug and just like a little catch up you know but anyways i'm so looking forward to today it's so gloomy i'm literally staring outside our hotel room and it's raining it's just so ugly but anyways guys i found a disloyalty package here in the room and i wanted to show it to you guys in case any of you guys are planning on having like some serious travel this year um i feel like disloyalty is a great program to join i told you guys earlier in the vlog that it's only 18 dollars a month to join i've literally been getting coffee every morning here at the hoxton for free so i've almost already paid half of the membership with two coffees you know what I mean? Like I drink coffee every morning, so it's really worth it. And the other awesome thing is that when I go to Portland, I can also go to the Hoxton every morning and get free coffee. And they have a list of like a bunch of places that you can get discounts at. And like I mentioned, you get tons of hotel like discounts with the disloyalty membership. Um, but let me show you guys the packet because I didn't realize I had one here in the room and it's actually very handy and it has a lot of information. But this is disloyalty. I guess this is how you spell it. But let me see. I can find all the info that I saw on here earlier. Okay, yes. So you get 50% off just open hotels, 20% off every first time stay, 10% off return stays, 10% off food and drink, um, over 150 plus restaurants, bars, and coffee shops, which is just, that's amazing. And then you get 365 free teas and coffees. So what I do to get my free coffee is I just open the browser and I redeem my free coffee for the day and I show it to the barista and they just make whatever I want off of the menu, which is literally so amazing. Um, so yeah, I think it's such a good way if you're a big traveler or not even if you're a big traveler but sometimes there are years where we know we're going to travel more whether that be for like lots of weddings or visiting family or just like travel for pleasure even so it's kind of like a good deal if that's what you want to do but anyways just wanted to tell you guys about that i'm gonna continue editing my vlog a little and then we're gonna head out to wake and late to get some breakfast burritos
really pretty and now we're, we parked kind of close to the beach. First time we parked close to anything. Yes. Yeah. But I think there's not that many people out here because it's not like the prettiest day, but it was pretty to us. It's we're from the PNW, for us. so we drove out here in the rain and it's not that gloomy here. So it's we're just gonna walk perfect. down to the beach. Yeah. As long as it's not freezing like yes. in Oregon. Or like good. pouring rain. We're good. We're good, we're good. Yeah. Lentil just said, welcome back to the shit show. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> it's a full on crawl, okay? <laughs> it is pouring rain in LA. It's not the vibe, okay? We got, oh my we're gosh. From, we're guys. from Oregon, but. Guys? Seattle, but, mm. What the? Girl. 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 <laughs> the hair is hairy. We went to the Melrose Market after Laguna Beach, and it's a vibe, but it wasn't a vibe in the pouring rain. So yeah. we were ran in there really quick. Lentil got a really cute mug for her mom and then a cute little art piece for her brother. Mm -hmm. From like she act both of them actually made the stuff too, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Um but yeah, then we came to what's this place called? I forgot already. It's Tanktastic. Called, yeah. And I got the um what I forget what these are called. They're called gun Anyways, no. mukbang time. Mukbang, mukbang, no, I don't know. That what is sounds it? weird. What's the name? Mukbang. <laughs> it's mukbang. Mukbang. Mukbang time. You should cut. You should bite it. I know I will. Mmm. It's good. Mhm. Mm it's like joint candy. Candy. It's kind of like the, the sugar you melt for flan. Mm -hmm. How's the strawberry? Oh, good. I would give you a bite, but I already ate it. No, you're good. Hmm. Is it incredible? I don't know. What do you think? It's good. Ah! I also didn't tell you guys. We got hit. Uh -huh. It's been quite the day. We were parking to go to the Melrose Market, and I turned on my blinker. I was started backing up, but there was not a car super close to me. Mm -mm. She was not paying attention. I'm pretty sure she was on her phone, and she just banged into the back of our car. Mm -hmm. She proceeded to try to blame it on me, saying that I was coming out of the parking spot when that was just not that true. Car better not hit you. Right oh now. my god, I'm so on edge now, guys. <laughs> to portland today at like 10 a.m and then we went and got some smoothie bowls at carrie koa bowls in alberta in portland with um lineth my mom and my brother and then i picked up layla and we headed to seattle so i'm finally home i have unpacked i've taken a very nice long shower and now i'm about to have dinner with jordan but jordan did bring me some really cute tulips and my favorite olive pop he brought me a couple of these they match they're so cute they're so pretty i love tulips so much i love tulip season and i love my grape olive pop so thanks babe but anyways guys thank you so much for joining my la vlog it was truly such a fun trip with lineth we've never really done a trip where it's just like me and her in our adult years like this um so it was just so much fun we literally had a blast we had the craziest things happen to us. And I'm just not a good storyteller, guys. So, <laughs> you 
you might not fully understand like everything we went through throughout this vlog but literally i'm not joking every day there was something wild happening in la where like we would be sitting in silence in our car and we just have to die of laughter because we were like what what was that like it was traumatic but also like what was it <laughs> There are just so many things that happen from like the guy literally like groping me from the back essentially to grab a cheeseburger from in and out um the starbucks line being insanely long and we just the late girl being extremely rude to me to our car getting hit and the lady gaslighting me trying to make me think that it was my fault when it was not um just so many many wild things literally happened so many i can't even describe it it was just too funny too crazy i didn't realize la i was telling my friend lynette i think because i was driving we were just like more hyper vigilant it was my friend lynette's first time in la too so we were both just like looking at everything and i feel like that is just what <laughs> caused all the chaos there's just so much going on it was just a wild time but it was so much fun at the same time also the hoxton was a beautiful stay we were literally saying like it was such a cute like escape from the city because LA is just wild in my opinion. So much fun, but such a wild place. Um, so it was really fun after having like chaotic things happen to us or just like a very fun busy day to go back to the Hoxton and literally just feel like you were in a little safe cocoon and just like vibing it out, ordering room service. Like, it was such a vibe. So Lynette, if you're watching this, I love you so much and I hope we can do more of these kinds of trips. Hopefully we can do another one next year for your birthday because this was so much fun. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for joining my LA vlog. I had such a blast and I can't wait to bring you guys along this next week for a new vlog, um, a week in my life in Seattle because I'm not going anywhere, okay? So catch me next week in Seattle. Love you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me.